Hey guys, welcome back. So, who is this chick behind the camera? Instead of just basically reading off of a resume, I wanted to give you some 10 fun facts about myself so you guys can get to know me. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you find them as amusing as I do for some of them. Okay guys, fun fact number one. I was in a movie titled House of D starring Robin Williams, David Duchovny from X-Files, and Anton Yelchin from Star Trek. It was the most mind-blowing experience ever. I mean, you expect these stars to be off on their own and thinking that they're better than the rest of us, but they, they couldn't be nicer. Robin Williams actually talked to me and I tried to teach him Russian. He actually, his daughter was on set as well, Zelda Williams. She plays in the movie. And fun fact, she is actually named after a video game. Anton Yelchin was the shyest, sweetest kid in the world. And David Duchovny was so tall. Like he looks so much taller <laughs> um, in real life. It's crazy. Tia Leone was in the movie. I kind of met her, but she was off to the side mostly. But just to be able to be in a movie with these people, I mean, they're just such brilliant minds. It's That's why it was so hard to hear about what happened with Robin Williams and Anton Yelchin, because they weren't just brilliant as actors. They were just brilliant because they wanted to soak everything in. And they were so humble and so kind. And they were just the most amazing people. And I, I was very lucky to be a part of this movie. So I'm going to try to find pictures. But if I don't, please go check out the movie. I am the Catholic schoolgirl <laughs> in the movie. And I actually do have lines. So I hope you guys enjoy that little fun fact number two. It's going to be hard to follow up after number one, but I'll try. So one of my favorite things growing up and something I'm still really big into is, you guessed it, Star Trek. I am a bona fide Trekkie. I go to Star Trek convention and to Comic-Con. I've actually met Sir John Patrick Stewart when he was giving a speech on advocating for women's rights. And he was everything as intelligent and articulate as you would think. I have always had a little bit of a crush and by little, I mean, like, you know, when girls love Brad Pitt growing up, no, no. I was in love with Spock. There was something about those Vulcan ears and that logic just, just did it in for me. But, um, <laughs> so I love Comic-Con, engaging in cosplay and Star Trek. I think sci-fi is something really fun and I think there is nothing wrong with being a nerd. We're on to number three. So a hobby that really consumed most of my time in my life and was such a big part of my life was dancing. I would get home at 4 p.m., go straight to dance school. Weekends consisted of dance. My whole life was dance. The summers I got, I went away to dance school. I mean, just everything. And being a socially awkward kid and dancing all the time with the same girls, I got bullied a lot, but what made it so bearable and so amazing was when I was on stage, I was just listening to the classical music and I would get lost in it. And it was so beautiful and peaceful. And I just, nobody else would exist. Um, I think my favorite part was Four Little Swans from Swan Lake. Ooh, or the Arabian Nights from Nutcracker. I don't know, I love them all. <laughs> Um, so as I got older, unfortunately, I turned 18, I did get injured pretty badly and went off to college. So dancing really slowed down for me after that, but I was really lucky enough to get a part-time job as a dance teacher that I do now in the evenings and seeing my kids on stage for the first time and putting it all together and seeing how much they've grown in the past year was probably one of the most rewarding things I have ever done. And I can't wait to do it again this year because I think I have like 12 classes. It's crazy. Ah, it just makes me blush. I love my kids. <laughs> Moving on. What number are we on now? I don't even know. So what do I do right now? I do have a full-time job and I teach ballet in the evenings. I have a bachelor's degree in 
computers and marketing. I have a master's degree as well in psychology, which is so awesome. And I am looking forward to going for my PhD in, I was thinking psychology or any type of science because that's really my interests. And my dream job would be to actually become a professor and teach at a four-year college. Of course, with still teaching dance on the side because I can't give that up. Did you guys get enough of me yet? No? All right, I'll keep going. So my next one fact is that I am actually an immigrant. I have been in this country for 20 years. I am originally from Ukraine, which is the former Soviet Union. I came over here with my family. I still sp uh, speak Russian and French, actually, fluently. I honestly would consider myself an American. Aside from making cutlets, I prefer my cheeseburgers and beer. But I think I do come in with a different uh, cultural experience and it makes me really appreciate living here more. And I love the culture and how we're all like a mixing pot. I know that my free time is limited and I'm sure we all have busy lives, but I do try to make time to volunteer at the VA hospital, specifically with hospice patients and the veterans suffering from PTSD. I ended up writing my proposal for my dissertation on treating ve veterans with a holistic method though, uh, for those suffering from PTSD. Going and visiting the veterans was the most rewarding but also the hardest experience because it was so hard to hear their stories and just they're so brave and those in the hospice unit I mean they just need to be memorialized they're the most amazing people in the world and I have nothing but admiration and respect for them um my stepfather was in the military a lot of the people I know around me are were in the military or still are and you have my utmost respect, and if there is more I can do, I will, but I am hoping to get my work published after I finish my PhD. And who knows? Maybe it will This help. next fun fact is actually a piece of advice. Do not let a ballerina attempt breakdancing. It was the seventh grade talent show, and I was doing Pink's Don't Let Me Get Me. Remember those? Ah, oh, the 90s. And I decided to try out The Worm. Well, I ended up planted face first into the floor, and now I have fake teeth. I think it's my way of getting out of wearing braces, <laughs> but the moral of the story is that I finished the dance and then I ran off stage. <laughs> Speaking of my younger years, one of my favorite part-time jobs that I started when I was about like 15, 16, was working for this awesome woman, and she actually started this children's company from scratch, and basically what we would do is we would customize each kid's birthday party from ages one to 100. I mean, it was all over the place. And we would go to these uh, kids' houses or these party rooms, barbecue, wherever it was. And the best part would be I would be dressed up as Cinderella and I would come down the stairs and you would see these kids' faces light up and I would start to do ballet. And it was just the most rewarding experience. So I got to be like Cinderella, Little Mermaid, Spider-Man, Barney, so I will post those pictures as well so we can all appreciate how good I looked as Barney. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sorry if I rambled on and on, but I really wanted everyone to get to know the person behind all these videos so you can understand why this means so much to me and this channel means so much to me. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You can always check me out on Facebook, Dasha Lifestyle, or on Instagram. And post a fun fact about yourself in the messages below or send me a message. So from the aorta to the apex, love you guys though my heart. Mwah. Bye.